today. Today's just been so hectic. <laughs> but guys, it's October. It's currently like 12 degrees outside. I'm reunited with my trench coat. I am so, so happy. Also, I hope you can hear me because there's people next door getting like some landscaping done. So it's been very noisy today. But anyway, <laughs> I am taking a break from work. It's currently, I haven't turned my car on yet because it's gonna get loud. It is 12 o'clock, so it's noon. I am taking a break from work. My next meeting is at 1.30, so I'm going to go to Bulk Barn and pick up some candy and nuts and stuff like that because I'm gonna make an autumn charcuterie board. It's Thanksgiving this weekend and I wanted to get some content out just to create some ideas for you guys to do this for your Thanksgiving. I'm gonna be doing it for my Thanksgiving on Monday. Yeah, I'm just really wanting a charcuterie board. So I'm gonna be doing that. I got some pumpkin spice cheese. I have no idea. I really honestly don't have high hopes for it, but like, I just had to buy it. And there was also another cheese shaped as a ghost and uh, I really wanted it, so. Anyway, I'm gonna go do that. I just wanted to say hello, Quetch. Just go, I'm excited. Okay, that was the most chaotic bulk barn haul I've ever done in my entire life. Holy smoly. First of all, because of COVID, they don't have any fun Halloween or autumn treats. Like I was expecting to get like gummy worms or spider shaped gummies and stuff like that. Like last year I was able to grab a lot. So I'm surprised with COVID this year that it's like that. Anyway, the only thing that was orange <laughs> are scanny corn and Reese's Pieces. So I grabbed that, but that was just the most stressful parking lot I've ever been to. It was just crazy. First of all, they had, I don't know, the curb was here but they had like I don't know what they're called like just like cement blocks like right here so there's this much space between them and they were so low to the ground that I just wasn't paying attention and I didn't see him and I hit it. It's like, oh my God, it was so ridiculous. And I got out and I'm just like, hey, this is the stupidest parking lot ever. I was embarrassed that I did that. There was a guy in the handicapped spot next to me just like staring at me and I'm like, uh, okay. Um, and then as I was trying to leave, this one person wasn't like controlling her kids and they were running all around my car and I'm like, I wanna get going. <laughs> so anyway, it's 12, 12.35 now. I had to get home by at least 1.20 I'd like cause I had a meeting at 1.30, but I'm just just outside this really nice spot in Burlington called Paletta's Mansion and I want to take a couple Instagram photos so when I was in Windsor a couple weeks ago I was taking photos by I think it's like Willstead Manor or something like that done Winston no something like that anyway I think I posted on my Instagram story or my Instagram post so anyway I'm gonna try and take some photos of my outfit because I'm just happy to be in my trench coat again we'll see how it goes but anyway I just figured I'd share I'm just taking Instagram posts I always keep my tripod in my back seat because you never know when you're gonna want to take a photo but I'll link this tripod down below it's the UBZ tripod that you get off of Amazon so and I don't use a clicker I use this app called um, Lens Buddy, but it's just on a timer. So you can take 10 photos, three, five, 10, 30, 60, and 120 photos, or you can just do it until you stop it and it, it counts for you. It's like a sound on it. It'll tell you when it's done, how many photos you're taking and all that stuff. So I really like it. It has a nice jingle to it so you know when you're done. But I really, I enjoy it. I feel like there's less pressure for me to like hide the clicker and all that stuff. So anyway, do that. I'll be back. <laughs> Okay, we are back home. I finished my meeting, it was very good. I figured I should come clean a bit, or not come clean, but just wanted to share this progress with you because, I don't know. <laughs> or earlier in the summer, I started seeing a nutritionist. It helped me so much. I've only had a couple like meetings and appointments with her. I've noticed a huge difference. I'm still like fixing things and working on myself and all that stuff, but it's something I've struggled with for a really, really long time. And I've like classified a lot of issues I've had with food and like body image and stuff like that. And it's really helped. So casually I wanted to say this is because I've struggled for so long and it's not fun. Obviously it's okay to go and get help. I think it's worth the investment of spending money on getting help like that. And if you can't afford it, there are other options available for you to go out and do it. I would really recommend it. Um, I feel very good. Um, I feel like I can validate how I 
eat and how I like my lifestyle. I'm not necessarily the person who wants to have three meals a day. I'm more of a grazer. Now having that being explained to me that that's fine and that's normal, I feel so much more like value in how I <laughs> live my life. Like I always thought, I know it's not right. It's not what everybody else does. Like I need to do it this way and would get so upset with myself. But now that I can like validate me just eating snacks all day and still getting the nutrients and su like substantial amount of food that I need. I, I feel very happy, I guess. It's so weird and I'm obviously not there enough to like talk about it, but little things she's helping me with and I've just really, I'm a lot happier with myself than I was like all my life. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to say that just casually because I want the help or you might need this as a little push to go and go get the services yourself or just look more into it and stuff like that. So anyway, I have a lot of information and I can share what has helped me. If you want, I can talk more about that either on Instagram or I can do a whole YouTube video about it or just message me one on one um, if you're more comfortable with that. But yeah, I um, it's really helped me so I wanted to share that. So anyway, the rest of the afternoon I want to film videos. I have a couple reels I want to film. I got two cooking ones, one board game one and one fashion one. So I want to get all that stuff done and then be done before dinner and stuff because reels take freaking forever to film. They're only like 10 seconds, but they take so long to film. Um, but anyway, before I get into anything, I wanted to share some PR that I got in the mail because they are so exciting and I'm very happy about it. Also, I'm totally just exposing myself here. This is my water I've been drinking, but that was from yesterday. That was from yesterday. So I need to finish those. And then my brother gave me little candies last night, so I'm saving those. But anyway, I got this in the mail today from Say. Every package comes with cotton balls and it's amazing. I mentioned to them that I was running out of the super glowy gel. This is it here and I'm almost out of it. I literally use this every single day. It is amazing. I told them that I was running low and needed to reorder and they, they're just like, oh, don't worry about it. And they sent me two. So oh, I'm so happy. They do last a really long time. Like I've had this since February and I'm just getting to the end of it now. I probably have like a couple weeks left of it. So I might hang on to one and add this to a giveaway. So stay tuned to my Instagram because I'll probably include the other package because I don't want to just keep two and be selfish about it and I can buy my own later when I run out, give one to one of you guys because I'm just very grateful for all of you, obviously. So I want to give back, but these are amazing. So I'm going to leave them linked down below. I wasn't, like, I didn't need to film anything. They just wanted to send this to me personally, but I wanted to shout them out because they're my favorite makeup brand. And I literally use all their products every single day. I use Say and Merit, like, every day. They're perfect. So this came in the mail last week and I didn't share it, but this is from Pixie. They sent over some of their masks. So this is their Mud Mask, Vitamin C Mask, and their Rose Mask. So you can actually, they had a little diagram that you can mix and match these for certain needs. So like a lot of like brightening, texturizing, that sort of stuff. So you can use these for that. So really excited. I have these two and I really like them. I'm not sure about this one as much. I probably should, but I might save another one of these for a giveaway as well. So just, uh, just follow my Instagram. Stay tuned. I want to give back soon. So just stay tuned. I might have a couple just little giveaways here and there. So last week I got this in the mail from Lily Silk and it is this beautiful, beautiful black silk shirt. Obsessed with it. It is so beautiful, so nice. I'm going to put it on for you so you can see because it's just stunning. Okay, so here's the shirt. I love it so much. So soft. It's very, very warm. Like, it's a really good quality top. Very, very nice. One detail that I really like about it is the buttons. So I just left it open and only did one. But the buttons are on this side. And they have an extra fabric over top to hide them. So you can't see the buttons on here, which I really like. I like that detail because it looks like it's one blouse rather than a shirt. Feel so, so nice. I've really been into collared button down tops lately. <laughs> Now's the perfect time to wear this with like a nice leather skirt, like, oh, like a maroon or just like a burgundy leather skirt would be so, so nice. Even like color blocking and wearing like black leather pants or black jeans with this would be so nice. I wouldn't wear these jeans with it. These are just like my relaxed fit but wearing like skinny jeans or something. I think that would look perfect. Like sweater vests over top would be super nice. There's just so many different ways that you can wear this. 
this and I think it's perfect. I did post a how to style white button up shirts a while back so you can go check that out if you want. Oh, I love it. So thank you Lily Silk for sending this over. But I'll leave that in the description and then I'll leave their website so you can go shop it as well. Okay, so I am going to tidy up my room because it is a freaking disaster. And then I'm going to get started on filming and making it more of a disaster. My battery just started flashing. So I think I'm gonna film the fashion reel now while that's charging and then I'll show you me filming um, my chili dip recipe and my autumn charcuterie board. This is my current setup. I got my tripod here. Then I have my little pumpkins I grabbed at the grocery store yesterday, but this is chili dip. Making it aesthetically pleasing. Honestly, when you zoom in, it's everything looks so good. Get your nose out of here. This is Otis. I think I introduced him to the channel when he was a puppy six months ago. Now you still a puppy, but you don't look like one. Yeah, right. Let's go to your bed. Good boy. Play with this while I film. There you go. So yeah, so this is chili dip. So basically you do a layer of cream cheese, a can of chili, shredded cheese, throw it in for like 10 minutes, let it bubble, and it's perfect. And then you, I just use these like Tostitos rounds and that's what it looks like. Very good, it's not gonna focus, but delicious. All right, now it is charcuterie time. I've got everything there, here, we're set. Here, I'm gonna put you on here. You can watch. You see, that's not gonna work. This whole time. Here is the charcuterie board all done. A little messy in some areas, like here and there, but you know, does the trick. Also realized that the brie I bought is way too big for the brie container, so that's not gonna work, unfortunately, but whatever. Um, but yeah, this is the charcuterie board. Anyway, got all my favorite stuff in here. Perfect. I should have done more lines of crackers and stuff like that, so I might change that for Monday, but I'm pretty happy with it. I am very, very excited. I think the whole family will love it. So yeah, I'm excited. Okay, we are all done for filming. Now is time to edit, edit, <laughs> and edit. I have a couple emails that I didn't get to today that I need to address and reply to, so I have to do that. But yeah, basically that was a content day in my life with a couple other little things in there. Um, I usually have one day a week where it's just strictly Emily Caitlin content stuff and today was that so it's usually my Friday but yeah I'm just I'm very tired and I've changed my outfit like at least five times today figured that's all I wanted to share for today I hope you guys enjoy let me know if you are making a charcuterie board or if you are making my chili dip technically it, it was my mom's chili dip or she got it from her friend but I I'm known for that chili dip with my friends that my go-to tizer that I bring to the cottage to the chalet to just any get-together that is what I bring so let me know if you're gonna try it out um, go follow me on TikTok and Instagram I'm posting daily there for the month of October October. Man, I'm getting in more spots. I need to stop eating poorly. But yeah, and thank you to Lily Silk for sending over that silk shirt. I'm really impressed by the quality. Again, the shipping was amazing. I remember sending out their, they said that they wanted to send me something and we went through it. I picked out that shirt and then a couple days later it was there on my doorstep. So that was amazing. I do highly recommend going and check them out because they have a ton of other like silk items like pillowcases, sheets, they have pajamas, they have more silk shirts, blouses, pants, 
all that sort of stuff. I'm really learning the benefits of silk and like how good it is for your skin and I'm starting to break out so maybe I should invest in a silk pillowcase and sheets and stuff like that. But yeah, it's really good for your skin and I really like the brand Lily Silk because they're not, like they're very environmentally friendly, they're big on zero waste and all that stuff. So I'm all about that. I think that's amazing. I'm all for it and I love to support brands like that so yeah and thank you say for sending me those products i'm just i'm so excited to continue using this and uh yeah stay tuned there's giveaway along with pixie thank you pixie i hope you guys enjoyed have a wonderful rest of your day and i hope to see you all in my next video bye